Uh, type 2 diabetes is a, a non-insulin dependent condition there. And uh, one of the best ways to treat it there without medication is through physical activity and through proper nutrition intake. Uh, a lot of the times we tend to cover over um, any kind of medications if they are currently on and as well as we try to look at their daily lifestyle of the type of nutrients they take in such as foods, um, any kind of sugary substances if they do. Some people are very addicted to those um, and so that can make a big difference on making a change. First appointment we uh, try to do any 24-hour dietary recall Let's like um, any kind of foods that they've previously consumed, what's their daily basis. But then we also look back at the history of their physical fitness. Were they an athlete previously in middle school or in high school, college sports, or are they currently on any team uh, activities, extracurricular activities? So we can kind of gauge where they've been before. If they've never um, ran a, a mile before in their life, well, we'll try and start off with walking and then we'll slowly turn into a jog of which then we can attain that mile eventually. Well, after the first appointment uh, with the initial uh, meet and greet and do any kind of measurements, then the second time we meet, usually we try to go about a week later and see how they've come. We, uh, I definitely try to uh, recommend uh, keeping a journal. Um, keep track of your progress throughout the week. It makes a big difference on what you saw what you ate and how much you ate the day before. So you can kind of see where you're coming from. Um, you do want to start off with slow, simple exercises that um, are very easy. For those people who have been out of it, whether they, it's been years or whether it's been even a couple months recovering from an injury, per se, um, it does take a little while to get back into the flow. I can provide a one-two punch that is very beneficial on being able to help with the outlook of their health for the rest of their life. On, the, on one side, you have the physical fitness, which gets the body moving, gets the blood going, works those muscles, gets you off of that couch. On the other half of it is the nutritional aspect of it, where that combines to make it one entire golden opportunity to provide the nutrients for your body. A lot of nutritionists, they do know the aspect of nutrition, um, working with certain types of foods, the uh, consumption rate, but to go hand in hand that works the best is with physical fitness. And as a personal trainer, you're able to kind of map that out and jump over any obstacles and break through any plateaus that you have reached. A lot of uh, common misconceptions people have with type 2 diabetes is that you are insulin dependent. Most people think that you have to carry a monitor around with you or um, do any kind of pricking on their finger. But in fact, there is an ability to where you are able to turn that around. One of which is through physical activity and on the second side of it is through nutritional intake. Getting them to start on a different path can be difficult at some points. But to be able to look at the future of their lives and the fact that there is a possibility of this di disease growing and becoming more of an issue with their life, they have to reevaluate their purpose. How long do they feel they want to live? For people at risk, there is definitely something that you can do about it. And first of which is being able to be physically active. On the other side of it, it's also maintaining proper nutritional intake on a daily basis. It's important for children to learn about type 2 diabetes because it is a growing epidemic. Regardless of what age you are, there's no way that you can hide from being diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. But it is absolutely preventable. It's good to know at a young age to, to learn the knowledge as you grow to be able to understand that this is a disease and the fact that you are, can be struck in with it and that it will ever so change your life. Tip 2 diabetes is definitely something that you'll be able to attain at any age. It doesn't shy away from anybody. And it's good to know at a young age so you may not be diagnosed with it later on in life. As a young child, it is important to know and to be physically active and to be able to understand eating habits and to make that change. Type 2 diabetes is not an old age disease. Anybody at any age can be able to get it, whether you're young, an adolescent, or an adult. It is possible to be able to be diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. I love being a physical trainer. I love being able to change people's behavioral attitudes 
and to be able to make changes in their um, physical fitness lifestyles. It's always very um, intriguing to me and it keeps me inspired when I see people come to me and they tell me their success stories. Being able to combine both physical training and nutrition is almost the holy grail there. It's what everybody needs and that's why I've got into the field that I did on becoming a nutritionist and having the background of being a personal trainer. Most people need the advice of both and if I could sit there and be able to guide them in both ways I feel that they can have a hundred percent success rate. I work with student athletes, I've worked with uh, professional athletes as well, but I also do work with those that have chronic diseases such as hypertension or type 1 or type 2 diabetes. I work with people individually but I also can work together as a group. Some people feel that they have to the support if they go in as a group, know that they can all pull together and meet their goals. The health professionals that I interact with are physicians, um, cardiovascular doctors, um, any kind of oncology doctors, registered nurses, and registered dietitians that I've worked with. And we combine together to be able to evaluate one's nutritional analysis and to make the changes there for the future of their physical fitness program as well as their nutritional intake. I interact with people in between short windows and long windows, depending on how often I've been seeing them a week. Typically they range from 30 minutes to an hour length in the consultation, but we'll be able to look back on where they come. I like to work with them hand in hand and we will evaluate their journal that they've had for the past week. We look at what they've had. I have no judgment on what they've eaten. I'm here to help them. I'm here to help them make a change. I'm not here to judge on what they've consumed. What a physical trainer would do in a typical day is to be able to meet with their clients one-on-one, -on -one, if not through a group of individuals, and go through any kind of routine that works various parts of their body. I would be part coach, part cheerleader, part drill sergeant, as well as a supporter. Most, most importantly, as a support system for these individuals. When I was a little child, around the fifth grade, my grandparents, um, first, my grandfather passed away from him when I was very young. It was sad to be able to know, and I didn't know what it was. And my parents told me it was diabetes, but I didn't know if it was a name or if it was the boogeyman that came and took my parents. Being young, I didn't know, and I learned. But as I got to ninth grade in high school, that's when my grandmother passed away. And I wanted to dig deeper and to find out what was this. Was I going to get this? Once they explained to me that this was a disease, that it is possible that it runs in the family, that scared me. And I wanted to be able to know more about it and to take a step into figuring this out. How can I prevent this from happening if this is prevalent in my family? I love what I do. I love being a nutritionist as well as having the background of being a personal trainer. Coming from a family that has a history of hypertension and type 2 diabetes, I wanted to learn more about it. I wanted to be able to know what I could do to prevent myself as well as any other family members. To be successful in a physical trainer's career, you have to be a people person. You also have to be patient, but you also have to be a motivator as well as be personal driven to put all those attributes